we'll discuss about gas gangrene today so what is it it is a highly fatal spreading infection caused by clostridium welshi organisms which result in myonecrosis now it has certain other names as well so other names first of all is clostridium myonecrosis then clostridium myositis then infective gangrene of muscles now coming on to the causative agents clostridium welchi then clostridium preferens is same clostridium septicum clostridium edematous and clostridium histolyticum now uh, coming on to the source of infection now the source of infection is usually from the manured or cultivated soil normal small intestine now however some uh, major risk factors are if a person has an amputated limb or he has a high velocity gun shot wound with perforation of viscous now coming on to the uh, predisposing factors to remember the predisposing factors uh, remember fabbed okay so by f we have foreign body by a we have anoxia by b we have blood clots by e we have extravasated rbcs sorry extravasated hemoglobin and myoglobin and by this we have dead and devitalized tissue now let's discuss the pathophysiology which is quite important so pathophysiology so first of all what we will see is we will see injury then this injury can be through a road traffic accident or it uh, it can be due to soil then cellulitis okay foreign body and all the just mention all the predisposing factors then spreading anaerobic cellulitis now what will happen is first of all it will lead to the breakdown of muscle fibers breakdown of muscle fibers that is collagen then there will be change in the muscle color also they will lose the contractility then further damage to the blood vessels now due to this it will lead to myonecrosis due to ischemia necrosis gangrene then they will lead to the multiplication of organisms now this will be accompanied by production of gas by bacteria such as h2s n2 or nh3 then this will lead to the gangrene of limb septicemia death this will also lead to extensive edema all right so uh yeah this is important 
okay then this change in muscle color production of gas by bacteria then septicemia and death extensive edema multiplication of organism gangrene of limb damage to blood vessels and this entire thing all right uh, now let's talk about uh, the clinical features and clinical features we'll discuss them under two different headings one is the local features and then another one is the general features uh, before this i'll just mention a few things about the toxins so in toxins uh, remember there are four toxins okay that are responsible so first of all lecithinase now in lecithinase just remember p h d okay hemolysis profound toxemia and by d dermonecrosis okay then remember the beta toxin now this beta toxin is going to cause the necrosis of tissues then p p for proteinase breakdown of collagen fiber then remember hyaluronidase hyaluronidase uh, this is basically going to cause the breakdown of the cement substance that is hyaluronic acid okay hyaluronic acid now let's talk about the clinical features in clinical features clinical features uh, there are going to be a uh, local features and general features so coming on to the local features In local features, what you will see is, first of all, you will observe edema, there will be severe pain and then there will be a sutured wound, it will be under tension. Also, a change in color, it will be blackish brown or brownish black. Then uh, there will be a thin brownish fluid, thin brownish fluid which will have a stickly, uh, sickly, sweer, uh, sweet odor. Then uh, you will see that there will be a uh, skin which will become khaki colored skin. It will be khaki colored because of the hemolysis. Okay. Now uh, let's talk about the general features. In this, there will be ill and toxic, anxious and alert. Then hypertension. Then rapid increase in pulse rate, vomiting, low grade fever. Now, if untreated, if it is untreated, what you will see is you can see septicemia, renal failure peripheral circulatory failure death now what is foaming liver when septicemia occurs in liver now coming on to the treatment part in treatment first of all you will do the debridement then we will do the prophylactic antibiotic treatment uh, basically penicillin is the drug of choice 10 to 20 lakh units then uh, we will uh, judicially use judicious use of tonicoid uh, also remember if you tie the tonicoid too tight it is going to uh, lead to uh, more gangrene and if, it, if you tie it loose then it is not going to serve any purpose then uh, there is a gentle but efficient or effective application of plaster cast also uh, you can give the uh, gas right uh, which is uh, commonly uh, given which is the polyvalent anti-gas also in severe cases hyperbaric oxygen therapy is promoted so this completes gas gangrene i hope you understood um, thanks for watching